With a photo of her wife in hand, Brittany Griner was led into a Russian courtroom to take the next step in her legal saga, pleading guilty to drug charges after cannabis oil was found in her luggage at a Russian airport. She told the court she didn't intend to break the law. She was in a, in a hurry as she was packing, and it was just by accident it ended up in, in her luggage. You don't want to say something. The WNBA star and Olympic gold medalist faces up to 10 years in prison, though her most likely path home is through a prisoner swap. We're going to do everything that we can to bring home uh, Brittany Griner safely. And the White House says it will not negotiate in public. Russian media suggests the Kremlin wants Victor Boot released in exchange for Griner. Known as the merchant of death, the arms dealer is serving a 25-year sentence. This yeah. Russian law expert the says the public it, pressure to you know, bring Griner home gives Moscow problem. leverage. You know, the Russians hold the cards in terms of how long it takes and they hold the cards as to what concessions they want. Griner supporters gathered at a rally on Wednesday, some frustrated by the slow lurch toward a resolution. I'm frustrated that my wife is not going to get justice. While her family is focused on bringing her home, Griner's teammates say this has reopened a much larger public discussion about equality. I mean, the question is, would Tom Brady be home? But Tom Brady wouldn't be there, right, because he doesn't have to go to a foreign country to supplement his income from the WNBA. President Biden wrote Griner a letter, which was delivered to her in court. He also spoke with her wife to offer what reassurances he could, as this may be a long process. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.